Hi folks, I'm Alex, one of the tech leads at Firebase working on security. Today, I'm going to share some new Firebase features that can help enhance the security of your apps. Let's take a look. Have you ever wondered if someone could send requests directly to your app's backend? They might not use your app at all, or they might write a copycat app that uses your API key, thereby not only running up your bill, but also stealing critical functionality. You should already have security rules in place to make sure requests come from authenticated users, but you will need something else to make sure requests are coming from your app. That's where Firebase App Check comes in. Along with security rules and strong authentication, it's a key part of the Firebase security suite designed to protect your app. Firebase App Check protects your API resources from abuse by helping prevent unauthorized clients from accessing your backends. For frequently accessed backends like databases, it's helpful to have App Check token last for a short time. This way, we don't have to go through the relatively expensive attestation process every time we want to look up a field in the database. But what about infrequently accessed but high value endpoints where we may need additional security? You may have recently integrated an AI chatbot into your app, maybe an ML model or other expensive computation, or an external API which you depend on. How can we make sure that a token cannot be stolen and reused such that future requests are denied? With the new replay protection in Firebase App Check, your app can now generate single-use tokens for specific endpoints without sacrificing performance in the rest of your app. Let's take a look at how it works. Imagine I want to use an API which depends on an API key that I don't want made available in my app. I can use a cloud function to proxy access and keep the key secured. Additionally, I'll use Firebase App Check with replay protection to ensure my cloud function is secured, which will in turn protect my downstream API. Here, I've already set up my cloud function to enforce App Check. By inspecting the context, we can ensure App Check has attested one of our apps. Now, I'll need to update my function so that it consumes single use App Check tokens. If the function receives a non single use token or a single use token which has already been used, the app object will have the consumed field set to true. I will also need to update my client code to request a single use app check token. We can start by logging here in the function, and once the new version of the client code has rolled out, we can change the logic to reject the request. Since this is potentially a breaking change, we recommend that you try this with new endpoints at first. Remember, app check is configured by the app, but enforced by the service or backend. This means you cannot selectively enforce app check per app since an attacker could just pretend to be the unenforced app. You can, however, choose to enforce app check on one particular service while monitoring requests in another. This is especially important when changing logic around app check, like adding additional restrictions or replay protection. Using replay protection with single use app check tokens can further improve the security of your app. But as with anything, there is a trade-off. In this case, your app may take a slight performance hit each time it needs to obtain a new token. So keep that in mind when determining which endpoints require this level of security. Speaking of protecting services, we can already use Firebase App Check to protect a number of Firebase services, such as Cloud Firestore, Cloud Functions, Cloud Storage, and Real-Time Database. Today, we are happy to announce that Firebase App Check is now also integrated in Firebase Auth with Identity Platform. If you've previously configured App Check for your app, all you need to do is upgrade to the latest Firebase SDK, and your app will automatically start forwarding its App Check context to Firebase Auth. If you haven't yet upgraded to Identity Platform, now would be a good reason to see if the upgrade is right for you. As before, you will need to wait until the latest version of your app rolls out to the majority of your users 
before enforcing requests to Firebase Auth. And that's it. Protecting your user authentication flows has never been easier than with Firebase AppCheck. When Firebase AppCheck first launched, it was available in Android, iOS, and web apps. We're also adding support for Unity and C++ to help game developers combat some of the most common forms of cheating in their games. You can reuse existing platform level attestation providers. For example, if your Unity game runs on iOS and Android devices, you can use the underlying Apple App Attest and Play Integrity attestation providers and automatically switch depending on the platform. You can also do similar logic in C++. What about if you have your own method of attesting the device? AppCheck comes as support for specifying custom attestation providers, allowing you to provide your own implementation for your favorite provider. You can then write a factory to pass your provider to the AppCheck SDK. With custom providers, you can protect endpoints called from desktop, IoT, or any other devices you manage. By federating attestation through Firebase AppCheck, you can ensure that all your endpoints, whether hosted on Firebase or not, are able to verify the authenticity of clients across all the platforms you support using the same API. Let's take a second to review what we covered. With replay protection in Firebase AppCheck, we can prevent token reuse in our expensive API calls like machine learning models and third-party APIs. We learned about protecting user flows by integrating Firebase AppCheck with Firebase Authentication. We learned how Firebase AppCheck for the Firebase C++ and Unity SDKs can help game developers combat cheating in their games. And finally, we learned about how custom providers can allow you to federate your own attestation provider in Firebase AppCheck. Give it a try. Visit the AppCheck menu within the Firebase console. I'm Alex, and thanks for tuning in.